besides my family's restaurant, I worked in the Plaza Hotel in New York City at 13, but they thought that I was 17. I didn't tell them I was 17. They assumed, due to what I could do, and I worked the night shift, and I worked there from when I was 13 till I was 17 and went away to college. I love Chef Bell. That's my favorite chef. At first, I thought, this man is crazy. Uh, I think Chef Bell tries to sometimes even do it for the first time on some things. Um, and other things, he takes an item that is maybe an old standard and tries to improve upon it or uh, deconstruct it and build it up in a different way. Uh, that you'll recognize the flavors, but the way it's done is a little different and it's more intriguing. I think he would expect me to learn how to survive in the real world. I can't emphasize enough when I tell a student that uh, you are really going to need to know this when you leave here and go out and work. Uh, our day consists of whether it be discussing students, uh, needs uh, for the students, or needs for functions that we're doing, or uh, how we can best utilize product um, from one class to another. Um, and that's basically, you know, the the born and raised in New York City, and I always wanted to uh, be involved in education, some type of hospitality education, but my background was culinary, and I was familiar with Sullivan County being raised in, in New York City. What he teaches is like, it leaves an imprint on you, so you just have to carry what he taught you on to the next. <sighs> He's creative. He's very creative. Um, he just does what he wants. He's just... With him and I personally, uh, if I'm doing something, I'll make something and I'll say, hey, what do you think? And I'll make it up and he'll look at it, taste it. We'll both do the same kind of thing. And sometimes we'll agree and sometimes we'll disagree. And, uh, you know, if there's a disagreement, I'll say, well, what would you suggest and said, instead? And um, I think what happens when that, that does is, it, 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 at least for my benefit as well, is, is that you come up with different ideas when somebody, you know, a different pair of eyes. You really have to take away, but professionalism is right up there. If you are very professional and willing to learn, uh, you'll be uh, very successful in the industry. He uh, expects professionalism. He wants everything to be the right way. Um, he wants you to do it. He wants you to put effort into it. I think that's what he sees most, like, just the effort. Like, if he sees you put in an effort, then he's going to applaud you and praise you for that. I said he's helpful, he's, he's very kind, he's, he's strict, but he's not, like, overbearing. He's not, like, demeaning. Come on, is that the plate? That looks like a smaller plate. He, he gets straight to the point, and he's very direct and honest. You need the one that the dessert was on, that one. Very serious in the classroom. You have to take them serious. Okay, so uh, you are going to put the vegetables coming on the side here, and then you're going to put five pieces of chicken lined up. So he's passionate about helping out, helping out his students, and he's help, passionate about cooking and the kitchen, making sure that everything runs smoothly. I think uh, the student who really wants to learn, um, they want as much knowledge from us as possible. Um, and I think at times they're looking for some guidance and mentorship. This is not an easy field. I mean, you're working, as I always joke, you work half a day every day. I, I feel up to the point, because we are feeding clientele from outside, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of takes it slightly out of the uh, classroom, right? Mm -hmm. Because it was a classroom up to that point, but when our guests arrive, uh, then it is, it becomes very much commercialized at that point. So for that brief 45 minutes out of the class while we're serving outside patrons who are actually paying to be here, uh, I treat those students as if they're an employee and the expectation is so. And then we will discuss after our patrons leave, it'll go back to a classroom environment where we discuss what went good, what didn't go bad, how can we improve. Just like a restaurant. I've always wanted to work in a restaurant ever since I was a, a little, little kid. And I knew that going to Sullivan, I would get a good education at a low cost. And 
Sullivan has a very good culinary program. So. See the growth of a student. You know, I see I work with students in their freshman, their first semester, and then I watch them. You know, in a class uh, like a capstone class that they're in right now. You know, on, in the end of their fourth semester, and just to see the growth of the student. Uh, I also think at times students don't know what they're expecting. Uh, I know myself, and I know Chef Bell does this very well as well, is you're always constantly looking to push the students further than they think they can go. And they don't even realize that they can get to those heights. Cooking has taken me uh, around the world two times in two different directions, because if I didn't have this career, uh, I really don't know what other career I'd have, what I w other career path I would have taken. But it has given me the opportunity to uh, travel and work and uh, experience a lot, a lot of wonderful, beautiful things throughout the world. Okay, we're done. See ya.